Today, we're going to talk about the three most common errors encountered when compiling Marlin for your 3D printer. Stay tuned. Hey, welcome to The First Layer. My name is Brian, and today I wanted to walk you guys through the three most common issues when building Marlin for your 3D printer. I get emails about these all day and night, and I thought I'd share these quick and easy fixes with you to get you rolling. Let's get started. Number three, the Sanguino board. There are various chips that operate as the brain of your 3D printer, and a common chip used in lower priced units is the Atmel AT Mega 1284P. Unfortunately, support for this chip is not built into the Arduino IDE by default. You'll need to grab the Sanguino board add-on. To install, head over to the Sanguino GitHub page shown behind me, and it will be listed in the description below, and copy the latest JSON URL posted in the README. Next, head over to your Arduino IDE and click File Preferences. This will open up the Preferences dialog, and we're going to want to go to the Additional Board Manager URLs. Now you can see I already have it pre-entered here, but click the icon to the right, and you'll see you actually get a dialog to enter multiple board types. So add the Lancos Sanguino link uh, from the JSON in here, and click OK. Click OK again to close the dialog and return to the Arduino IDE. All right, now we're going to want to go into the Tools menu, Board and Boards Manager. Now this is going to list all the boards in the system, including the newly added JSON list that we added. So let's search up Sanguino, and you'll see here that I already have it installed. However, if you do not, you'll have a list here saying a version number, I recommend installing the latest version, and you'll have an install button. So click the install button, it's going to take probably about 30 seconds to a minute to install, and then once it's completed, click Close. Now in the Tools drop-down menu, go to Board, and now you'll find in your list, somewhere in here, a Sanguino board. So select the Sanguino board, and finally, open up the Tools menu once more, go down to your board, or your processor, I'm sorry, and make sure to select the Atmel AT Mega 1284 or 1284P 16MHz option. This will ensure that we get the exact right compilation type for your board. Number two, U8GLIB. So the next most common error I've found is the infamous U8GLIB missing error. Now this is because it's a text library for your LCD and it's just simply not included by default in Arduino. So let's add it in real quick. To add it in, click on Sketch, Include Library, and Manage Libraries. This will bring up the library management dialog, which looks a lot like the boards dialog we saw in the previous issue. So we're going to search up U8GLIB. There are a couple different ones in here, but I recommend just go with your standard U8GLIB. So Oliver is the recommended one. You'll usually find it at the bottom of this list. And you can see we got a couple different versions here. Again, I'm in favor of going of the latest version, which as of today is 1.19.1. So let's click install. It'll go and pull all the information from the internet. It'll install in the back end. Whip, bang, boom, we are ready to go. Number one, starting configuration. The number one question I am asked is where do you start when configuring Marlin? Now Marlin actually has a directory called example configurations that may or may not have a pre-built configuration for your printer. And I recommend 100% starting from this point. So let's go into Example Configurations, Creality, and Ender 3, which is the number one printer I get asked about. You'll see we have four configuration files already added in this directory. So let's copy them, and let's go back up to the Marlin folder and paste. You may be asked to overwrite these files. If so, say yes. And then we're going to go down and find our marlin.ino file and we're going to open it with the Arduino IDE. Now, once your IDE is opened up, you are ready to verify and upload your code directly onto your printer. 
And there you go, behind me we have a fully compiled Marlin program ready to go on an Ender 3. But what kind of printer do you have? Are you having issues compiling Marlin? Let us know in the comments below, and while you're at it, like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to know when we come up with new episodes. Until next time, remember that the first layer is your foundation to a great print. You know, you'd think with all my computer skills I'd be able to click down on a dialog box, click over on something, and actually be able to make it over there without losing the menu. It's like, every time I move a mouse, oh, I drift down a little. Oh, I drift down a little. Oh, I drift down. Like, just, just let me, just let me have this one. Please, please let me have this one.